Hi everyone, this is Crash Me Twice and today I am taking a good look at and under the hood of the Thrustmaster Warthog throttle base. Let's get started. We're gonna take it today apart and take a good, good look at it and see what's actually going on in there. So one thing what everyone realizes right away when they get it is this thing is really heavy. But it's a little bit of, uh, how should I say, a sheep in wolf's clothes because it's actually not metal, it's actually plastic. And all those panels around it, they are metal, but they're just riveted onto a plastic housing. I think there's a little bit, I wouldn't call it cheating, but you know, uh, there's a little bit of a misconception going on. Uh, you can clearly see on this side here, there are two plates on the bottom, not one. The second, second place has no uh, function at all other than making it heavier. And one can argue that through that it's easier to, to work it because it does not move on the table. And for a table mount, this is probably just fine. But, you know, everyone I know, they have a simpit or mount this thing onto a chair mount. I argue that there are a lot of people just putting it plainly on the desk. If you buy something this expensive, you're usually planning on having this in the pit. Anyway, so the buttons all function very well. They function after years still as they should. This has not seen a lot of action. I wanted to have something for ED, for Elite Dangerous. It worked, but it did, just didn't do it for me very well. I wanted kind of like a more joystick type. I would have to mod throttles into more of a joystick type. Then I saw that uh, Viper throttle combo from Winwing. That's what I got. The buttons are good. They have a good heft to them, so you have to really press them to engage them. The lever works fine. It has a good resistance to it. It has a very good middle position, which can be felt. Not as good as the Orion, but good enough. That switch here is fine. Uh, I think the, the button covers are made from ABS, a high quality ABS. So that's good too. The throttle itself is, is kind of like a mixed feeling because there are a lot of plastic in here. They do have those metal kind of covers on them, but uh, the rest is plastic. So I you know, wouldn't wouldn't prefer that over any other throttle uh, just because of that. By the Orion 2, in, 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 in hindsight, uh, we have all metal, you know, and I, I just uh, like that feel of metal and the cold feel to it. So anyway, let's get it on and get the thingy apart and see what we can discover here. Okay, so let's turn it around and take those uh, five Phillips screws out. And here you can see it's the first plate. It has no function at all other than weight. Here's the second plate you can take off and it's the same plate that's that one, All right? They're identical, except for one thing, and that is that this plate has milled out sections for the ground. This section also added just some cheap metal strips to here to add even more weight to it. So, is it necessary? I don't know. This plate does not have those milled down sections for the ground and that just goes on top but it has those rubber feet on it and that's really the only difference here. Let me turn this plate around so you can see the difference here. Okay. I don't like this too much, you know, I wish they had used actual metal in the components or the box itself. That would have made it just as heavy without having them to add just pointless weight to it. 
Okay, the next thing is what, what you will realize here. This is all plastic. The whole case inside is also plastic. And you can easily see this here. I can press this area together because they're riveted without giving enough room. And when this metal here, this metal plate, what they put on top of it, expands and contracts with temperature and the plastic doesn't, then this is happening. Okay? So you can see all around inside here, it is all plastic. And then it has riveted on there with six rivets, those uh, steel plates. Which makes it feel like it's a whole metal box, but it's not. Right? Even that the top of that is here is all plastic and then I put some metal plates on it for the uh, switch descriptions and so forth. Even the, the detent here is also plastic. It's all plastic. And especially what I don't like is that these things are plastic. That's plastic. That's plastic. That seems to be inside a, another plastic piece there. So it's, it's not what it seems to be. That's what I'm saying. Okay, here, this is definitely a pot. This is not a hall sensor on this one here. Uh, this is a little bit of outdated technology on that one here. In, in, in today's sim world, we have all pretty much hall sensor, and that's what we're expecting, because the accuracy is higher and the uh, longevity is higher. I don't have a problem with pots, but in situations like a large lever, I would have rather seen something else, an update on it with hall sensors, instead of just keeping producing this thing for, uh, for the next 50 years. So... I'm kind of a little disappointed that this hasn't been updated. This all here seem to be hall sensors. We will find out here soon. And all everything else is just analog. We're going to take a look later on into that grip. If we can get it apart, I think we can. And then uh, I don't want to ruin it because Either I, I keep it as a spare or sell it, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take a look because this is all plastic. And uh, you can see the back here. All these parts, it's all plastic. Mini stick is great. Hats, which is a good. And here's your friction lever to adjust the tension for the throttle. So the design is not bad. Uh, it's okay. But I sure wish this had been updated. Okay, so uh, let's take some of these boards off so we can get to the uh, construction and the mechanics and the electronics to it. So we're gonna start out with this four screws here. Let's see if we can get this out. All right, here's our board here. Let's disconnect this. And you can see it here. Here's a, the connection from this board to that board. This is just uh, some pins here. All right, and this also contains the connection to the USB. Now I wish this would have been a port and not a cable, because if your cable goes bad, then you have to solder instead of just using a new cable. Of course, your socket can go bad too, so it's not a big issue, but I rather have a connection because I can also then have a longer or a shorter cable and not have to coil this up because I just have a three foot run or a two foot run. We want to make sure that manufacturers pay attention to what we use this stuff for. 
And as I said, if you have a sim pad, you likely have a much shorter run than the six foot which comes with it, five or six foot which comes with it. We can measure that later. Okay, so this board is here. Now, I see there's two identical connectors here, so I marked one with a red pen so we don't confuse where this connector goes. All right, let's get those off here too. Don't grab it on a cable, try to grab it on a connector. So here's our board. So now we're looking at this here. So let's take this section apart and see what's going on there. Okay, these are out. Oh, this plate is coming loose here. And there's this plate here, plastic. I'll put those screws in here so you know where they go. And here you can see how this works here. There's some springs in here. And here's your tension knob. So by tensioning it, you practically compressing those springs and making this rather harder to move. So it's a, a fairly simple system. Again, everything is plastic, including those rods. So let's see what we can do here on those sensors. To take a look at those, so I'm going to You can get that out. Oops, there you go. That was fast. <laughs> All right. So where did the other spring go? Well, I guess we find that later. But here you can see the whole throttle system here. And now we can investigate if this is a hall sensor or not. Put this thing aside here. Here's the other spring. Let's put that one back on here so we know where it goes. Not that this is too hard to figure out. Okay, so let's see if we can get some idea here. Let's separate those here. From each other. Let's turn this around. Let's take a look in here and then we'll point out. And you can see it right here. Let me see if I can get this better in, on camera here. This is a hall sensor, right there. So we have a hall sensor in both of those throttles. So I don't know if you can see this here very good. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. But in right in here is the magnet for it. Okay? right in here we can confirm these are hall sensors and that little board with the chip just goes in here here you go here's the hall sensor sitting right in here okay let's continue here so we can now reinstall this section here and then we'll take a closer look at uh, those uh, throttle grips okay so i got myself a box to get this done here because it's impossible to hold that and try to get this all in. All right, much better. Yeah, 
Great. Now we can put our bottom plates back on here. This is the bottom bottom one, and that's the middle one. And you can see they're not even cut even. Okay. Just adding weight. That's all there is to it. And I give them the benefit of the doubt to think that's a design to make sure that it stays on the desk. Because if it's for anything else, then I would be very, very disappointed, that's for sure. Is that correct here? Yeah. Yes. As I said, the one the flimsy side. Okay. Got everything back together. It feels right. Everything should work as intended. Yeah, locking in place. Yeah, it's all good. Well, book quality here. Yeah. Watch this. Can you see that? Look in here. Look in here. Alright, so as I said, the one the flimsy side. Okay, let's uh look inside those uh Throttle lever grips. They have uh, bolts here on the inside. You can see here and here. And the other one has them also here, here, and here. And, uh, well, that round tube or whatever recessed area, this is engaging the throttle lock so you can lock both of them together oh, but there's still a lot a lot of play in here okay it is what it is let's see that we can take those puppies apart and see what's inside and i expect anything spectacular here but you never know let's open one up and let's see what's going on in here okay here we are. Things are already falling out. Okay, these are little standoffs. So one just goes in here, this one goes over here. So you won't pull that plate inward. So we'll see here what kind of switch that is. It's a standard two amp switch here. Like a full size switch, but it's not. It's just a full size lever on top, but on the inside it's a micro switch or a mini switch. Let's see if I can see the brand here. I can hardly read that. It's YF. I've seen those on Ali. So to get this back on here, take that screw, take our Stand up on it. I mean, now we screw that back in here and back in business we are. Now we have uh, the screws on this side to take this plate and those switches off. Okay, all out. Let's see if there's anything on this side. There's a tiny, tiny little screw up here. Let's take that one off. And here we are. There's a control board down here, which also houses those switches. It's just a, a different uh, kind of a head. These are all micro switches. And so now you can take a look at this. Now you can see it, how this looks. Just a small little control board. Here's the switches you can peek in here. Just standard micro switches. And on the other side as well, those fantastic plastic standoffs. Cable goes around here. Here you go. Okay. And then in here, we have the rest of the, of the head here and a mini stick. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it on that one. Let's see if we can put that back together first. Here you go. Put our bolts in here and then a little screw on top. We get back out here. Never took too deep of a look into it until now. It gives you the illusion that this grip is made from, from metal, but the whole thing is all plastic with some decorative metal. And that is what bugs me. 
and I'm sure it's fine because I mean I used it would I buy it again no well that's it for today so next time we're gonna go back on our first term project which is then part 7 so that video is coming soon so please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it don't forget to check out my discord channel and visit my website at crashmetwice.com for more info on this and other projects and if you'd like to support this channel you can buy me a nice cup of coffee from the link below or on my website hope you all enjoyed this video and hope i earned a like from you question twice out